Hey YouTube, it's Andrew back again with another video and today we have another special unboxing. This just arrived from China. It's another tablet in our Chinese tablet series. It's the Xiaomi Mi Pad 2, a Windows 10 Retina 8-inch iPad mini competitor. Let's find out if it has what it takes to dethrone the iPad mini. Let's find out what's inside this box. <laughs> I have my knife. Let's find out what's in this package. Well, as you know, I have started my Chinese tablet series. We unboxed the other day the Chewy HI12. It's a 12 inch retina screen iPad Pro, I guess, competitor. And the second one in the line here is the Xiaomi Mi Pad. 8 inch tablet. Now it's a retina screen tablet. It came all the way from China. There it is. It's the Mi Pad 2. It came all the way from China. It has a high resolution screen. I believe the screen is laminated unlike most Chinese tablets and it will compete with the iPad mini retina. So I'm curious to see how it will perform. I believe I got the champagne version. I couldn't get a hold of the gray version. It comes in I believe silver, space gray and gold. I believe I have the gold or the champagne color. I'll put the link below to where you can buy this. It will also have a coupon for 9% off if you go through my link and it's from banggood.com. Okay, I'll put the, the link below. So let's see what's inside this box. Let's find out if it really is indeed a iPad mini competitor. So before we open that, I also want to tell you I got the Bluetooth keyboard case. I don't know how good it is. I'll put the link below, below for it as well. This is a Bluetooth wireless keyboard. It's also detachable. It's PU leather. I think I paid maybe $18 or so. And it says it's for the Mi Tablet 2, as you can see there. And um, we'll unbox this as well. But let's first look at the tablet and then we'll get to the keyboard in a moment. So it's an eight inch tablet. And here it is. Let's put it to the side. Let's see what else you get in the box. Again, this is our ongoing Chinese tablet series. And this I was I ordered about two weeks ago. So it took about two weeks to come from China. Here is the power plug and it's kind of small. And it's saying it has five volts, two milliamps. So I don't know how fast this will charge. We'll find out. The connection I believe on this might even be USB uh, type C. And let's see, it looks like it is USB type C. That's good. So we're going to see how that works. I don't know if it's 3.1. We're going to have to find out if it can drive a monitor and so forth. Looks like we get some documentation in the package. It's probably in Chinese, so it might not be any use to me as I do not speak Chinese. And yes, it is in Chinese. So let's put that to the side as that will not be of any use to us. As far as anything else in the box, that is it. So ni nice packaging, by the way. This is a, I believe it has a X5 Cherry Trail, Intel Cherry Trail processor. I believe it has two gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of eMMC storage. So if I'm not mistaken. So I know this comes in a dual boot flavor, Android and Windows coming up. And I can tell you uh, that is something I'm looking forward to. So this is the champagne color. It's not bad. I was hoping it would, wouldn't be too bright and it's a little muted. It looks more metallic than anything. It looks pretty good. You have some of the Mi branding, the Xiaomi, Windows logo, Intel inside. Uh, you have two bottom speakers right there. We'll test that as well. We've got a, a webcam or a camera in the back. Again, build quality looks pretty good. Again, this is a laminated screen. Let's take off the plastic. Gotta love that sound. So far, I'm loving the quality of this. Now, as far as ports are concerned, you have a volume rocker up and down over here. Looks like you have your power button there. On the top, you have your headphone microphone jack. That's it for the top. You have your webcam right over there. And on the side, there is nothing on this side. And you have on the bottom your USB type C connector and that's it. And again, you have two uh, speakers, back facing speakers. So there it is and it's light, it feels pretty good. 
Let's find out what, if it has any juice. Let's turn it on as I press the power button. And it said me. Again, it has, I believe, two gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabyte eMMC storage. So far, liking the build quality. So it does come in a dual boot flavor as well. This is the Windows only. I don't know if it's activated. I don't know a lot about it. I'm telling you right away, the screen does look nice. Let me turn up the brightness. So let me get to that. Right now it's at 40%. Here's 100%. And the brightness looks pretty good. So as you can see here, it's the Xiaomi Mi Pad 2. It's running Windows 10 Home. It's got an Intel Atom X5 Z8500 running at 1.44 gigahertz. It's got two gigabytes of RAM. It's a 64-bit operating system, X64 based processor. It has touch support. It has looking pretty good. I'm loving this screen, by the way. The resolution of the screen, let's take a look at that real quick. If I click on that, go to display settings, and I go to, I, by the way, I turned off the this adaptive display brightness. Uh, I don't want that. And as soon as I turned that off, it definitely got a lot brighter. So I'm liking that. It's definitely a laminated screen, meaning there's no gap between the digitizer and the actual glass. That's really nice. It's running at 2048 by 1536. This is a retina display. And so it's a pretty high end looking tablet at a very good price. I think it's around 240 or 250. I paid somewhere in between. Check out the link below. There is a discount if you go through my link at banggood.com. So this is looking pretty good so far. Viewing angles look very good. I'm pretty impressed for what you get for relatively inexpensive price. So pretty high end so far. We'll check out the performance of the X5. It only has two gigabytes of RAM. That might be a downside. Loving this screen. The screen definitely is the star of the show. Let's go to the device manager. And let's take a look to see what kind of eMMC they're using. Let's go to disk drive. They're using a Toshiba 064 G70. So at least it's a name brand, unlike the Chewy HI12, which we unboxed, which had a no name brand. This actually has a Toshiba eMMC. So I'm hoping good things will, will come out of this. I'm going to put it through its paces. I'll do crystal disk mark test. We'll test, that SS, we'll test that eMMC. We're gonna do the Geekbench test. We'll see how performance and benchmarks square up for this. Now, so far, I'm really liking this. I'm thinking this is gonna be a winner. I turned off the adaptive brightness and it is looking very good, ladies and gentlemen. So I will put it through its paces. I will update you on this when we do the full review. Now, as far as the keyboard is concerned, let's unbox it. Let's see how it looks with the Mi Pad in it and so far you get your, your micro usb charging cable and this i'm not expecting much out of this keyboard it did come as a package deal i got it again from banggood.com i'll put the link below to where you can get all this stuff it's a pu leather again doesn't smell like leather i'm not expecting leather uh, it does uh, have a somewhat nice look to it like a shiny leatherette look it's a folio type keyboard and you know, plasticky, kind of feeling a little bit cheap. Again, not a lot of money. Let's see how it looks with the Mi Pad in it. Now, it doesn't have any trackpad or anything like that, but again, I wanted some protection for this. So, put it into its case right here. As you can see, we just slip it in. It's made for the Mi Pad. It seems to have a pretty good fit. Closes up like that, unfolds like that, and then connects like that. So there it is with the keyboard attached and as you can see you can adjust the angle. This is a removable keyboard so you could take that off and use it without it or you can have it connected. It magnetically attaches. There's like this magnets that makes it stick and you can put it like that. Not the best solution in the world. Not bad for the price. What you want to do with it. I don't know. We'll see how it works out. I think I paid $18 for it. Um, not the best solution in the world. Key travel seems pretty good. 
no trackpad or anything like that on it. But again, it might do the job when you're in a pinch and need to do a few emails, maybe even type a, a short letter. Well, we'll see. We'll they'll definitely put it through its paces. We'll update you when we do our full review of the Xiaomi Mi Pad Windows 10. Really liking the form factor. So we'll do a full review on this. We'll put it through its paces and we will report back with our benchmarks, our full testing, and do everything we need to do with this tablet. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please don't forget to share this video and please leave a comment below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's any other device you want me to review. I will try to make that happen. This is the second tablet in our continuing Chinese tablet series. Up next after this, I expect by next week to be unboxing the Honda V919 Air CH. So that should be a 9.7 iPad Pro or iPad Air 2 iPad Pro 9.7 competitor. So stay tuned for that. So until then, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.